Good morning and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I don't think I ended off last week's weekly vlog, but yesterday was Sunday and we went to Eat Street last night, which was very exciting, but it is a new week. We're feeling good, we're feeling fresh. Gotta let the little Charlie bear out. But yeah, we've been feeling a little bit down mentally for a while now and we're going to reset this week. We're going to reset, we're going to feel better before going back to work. Good morning, buddy. Let's not jump though, okay? We've been through this. We've been through this, we can't be jumping. Hi. <laughs> I know, I know. So, to start this morning, we're going to try and make some Wheat Bix overnight concoction, I'm going to call it. We're going to try anyway. So we've got some milk, we've got yogurt of choice, really been enjoying that yogurt. I think I'm going to try and use Nutella and rice milk so we'll see how that goes. And some wheat bix Okay, this is the final product. Put it in some light so you can see it a bit better. There we go. And we shall try it for the first time together. Okay, hopefully it's good because otherwise I'll be a little bit disappointed. I think it's good. Yeah. I think next time I'll definitely halve the recipe because this is way too much for me to eat for breakfast, but it's good. I'll leave um, the recipe below if you want to try it out. Hello. So I haven't spoken to you that since this morning when I tried that, what do we even call it? The wheat bix Thing that I tried this morning um, I liked it I just realized afterwards I was like oh this is like way too much I'm gonna have to like halve it next time because I can't and then I had a look and it was like serves four no wonder I couldn't eat it <laughs> but it was still pretty good um, and like I said I'll leave the recipe below for you to have a look at and then after that the camera died so I couldn't take you along on my journey I did film what I did and on my phone and I posted it on TikTok just now. So I ended up um, gurning or pressure washing the backyard like I've said that I've been wanting to do for like a week now. Yeah, I ended up recently buying a umbrella. Um, so I also put that outside and I'll show you in just a second. We'll just let Charlie out because he's probably mad. Come on. Yeah, I just got out of the shower. I wash my hair and stuff because I got a bit gross from doing the pressure washing. So yeah, um, ended up buying an umbrella and setting it up all nice out here. So it looks much different. Should have shown you before, but anyway. So that's the umbrella. This chair like folds out as well. And then I've got a little table over there, but yeah, looks so much nicer. Okay, I've just had to set you up on my reading chair in my office because Shane is currently using my desk as a bit of a gaming thing for his steering wheel. Um, I don't know why I just <laughs> used my hands to explain all of that, but yeah, my desk that is normally right here is currently in Shane's like lounge room with his Xbox and stuff. So I just wanted to give you a bit of a quick... Um, like recap on the books that I've read recently. So I'm not sure if I showed you when I started reading this one. So it's Before I Saw You by Emily Haunton. I hope that's how you pronounce her name. I'm also very terrible at pronouncing authors' last names or first names. 
um, or any name in general. The kids at the school always get mad at me. Or not mad, but they're like, Miss, that's not how you pronounce my name. Awful at pronouncing names, great at remembering them. <laughs> at least one thing is good. So yeah, I read this book and it's all about these um, two people that are both in some pretty traumatic accidents and they're both in hospital together and they become neighbors in their little um, suite. And the girl is, um, she's been affected by fire. She's been burnt to 40% of her body. And yeah, it's about them falling in love without never seeing each other. And yeah, it was really cute. I gave it three stars because it was like adorable. Um, and the characters were really good, but I just didn't feel a hook to it, you know? Like it was cute, I enjoyed it, but wasn't hooked. And then just before I finished reading to Love Jason Thorne by Ella Mays. Oh, Mars. See, terrible at names. Um, this one is about um, this girl called Olive, um, and she's always had a crush on her childhood, um, like, brother's best friend that was a couple of years older than her. She's always had, like, a crush on him, like, when they were younger, and then, like, fate kind of brings them back together because she's now an author writing, and he is a movie star and he is starring in her adaptation of her book so yeah they end up reconciling getting um together through a fake relationship as well which i wasn't expecting i don't even know if it says it on the back actually no it doesn't so yeah i wasn't expecting like the fake relationship to come through as well because normally you have like childhood lovers and then yeah they like don't have the fake oh yeah they're being talked into a fading date plot to restore his damaging reputation it does say it at the end obviously i just didn't read the whole back but i gave this one um four stars probably about 4.2 five stars if we're going to be specific but yeah i really enjoyed this one really well written i thought i was going to be annoyed by it because sometimes when it's like the girl has a crush on the guy for like a long time it's they almost make it seem like she's been pining for him for years and like she's obsessed with him and I just don't like that about some books. Like I just don't like when they make women out to seem very possessive and obsessed with men. So yeah, but did enjoy this one so highly would recommend. And now next, by the same lady, it's called To Hate Connor or To Hate Adam Connor and it's about the best friend I believe. Where are, yeah. So in this one we have Olive and her best friend's name is Lucy and then this one follows Lucy. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think after I've read this one because I'm quite excited. So yeah, um, I'll let you know. Let me know if you like hearing about my reviews on books. I'm not amazing at doing it. My sister works in a bookstore. Oh my eyes is itchy. My sister works in a bookstore and she's the one that got me into reading and... She's a lot better at explaining her thoughts and feelings about books. But if you like to hear what I think and what books I like, let me know. And I can include these in my weekly vlogs. Okay, good morning. It is currently, actually, I don't know what day it is. It is Wednesday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because Shane ended up having the day off. So we just spent the whole day together and it was really lovely. Um, and today I'm taking Charlie to the vet at 10.20. Um, so that he can get like checked over and see if his cone can come off, which is going to be fantastic because he's been very annoying with his cone on. But I'm just in my office at the moment. I don't think I've shown you in here since I let Shane borrow my desk. So my desk normally is there, but I've kind of got this little setup going with this coffee table and I'm kind of vibing. I'm kind of loving it. Because it is like I'm able to sit on the floor with my legs crossed, which I love doing. And yeah, we're just vibing on the ground. Just need to get myself a little cushion. Only thing is that my foot has kind of gone dead. I'll show you it real quick. Oh, you can't see it. It's gone all red. I'm still in my pajamas also. So we're going to go get changed, get ready for the day. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. I don't know if this is zoomed in or not. Hmm, it's not. feels very close. Um, welcome to my bathroom. I just got dressed. Just wearing this cute little outfit that I wore yesterday. Yes, we're an outfit repeater around here. But, you know, I just liked it. So I thought, why not wear it again? Because I didn't get, like, 
super sweaty in it yesterday or anything so it's totally fine still smells good so yeah we're just wearing this outfit shane told me yesterday when i wore this that it was giving australian bus drivers well brisbane bus drivers anyway because they wear like this blue t-shirt button up with black pants which is what i'm wearing but we'll be a bus driver today so i'm just getting myself ready a little bit before i have to take charlie to the vet and then after that i'm gonna bring him home and go back out again because i need to get a couple of things from the shops and obviously i can't take him with me so we're just gonna do that and yeah i wasn't gonna wear any makeup today because i have been trying to heal my skin a little bit but i just wanted to get pretty and ready for the day I'd also wash my makeup brushes later. I really need to do that. And it's one of those things that I constantly put off or forget about. And it really needs to be done because that might also help clear my skin. So yeah, that's the plans for today. I also want to like do up a bit of a business plan for a year. Like because I have all these ideas in my head of what I want to do as kind of like a side hustle business. And... I just constantly think about it all the time and I think I just need to like write it down and set out a game plan and like when I want things to be released and what I want to do with that. Um, so yeah, I'll tell you a bit about it without giving too much away, but I really want to start like a self-development or self-help self, self -help business. So whether that be like organization things like um, to-do lists or an ebook or you know just like things to feel like you're in control of your own life you know what I mean because I suffer from anxiety have for a long time but I feel like this last year or so I feel like I've talked about it quite a bit in the last couple of weeks because it has been something that's really impacted me especially since starting my new job um, so I've been talking about it a bit more like around people and i think i've mentioned it on here in the last week a couple of times but yeah i suffer from anxiety and it's been really bad the last year since i've started teaching so i'm really interested in helping other people combat anxiety or well you're not really combating it you've always got it with you but helping feel a bit more in control of your life and the things that you can achieve on your own um, so yeah, I want to go in that kind of direction with the business. Um, I've got a lot of ideas on how I want it to go or where I want it to start at least. So I just need to like get all those ideas down on paper, get a bit of a game plan, get some designs in the works. Um, and yeah, start that ball rolling before the end of the year. So I'll keep you updated on the progress because I really like seeing when people start the process from nothing and, you know, like get there in the end. It's like quite exciting and quite interesting to watch. So I will bring you along. So this is the fit here. I just tied up this little top from Shein and these pants are from H&M. They're like flowy, loose pants. And yeah, this is the fit for today. I feel kind of bus drivery but that's just because shane said that but i also kind of feel like a bit business attire but also casual business attire so not 100 percent sure i think it's cute i think it'd be cute for a little like photo looking in a bookstore or... but we don't have anyone to take pictures of us today so that's okay and then i've just got my hair in a little claw clip like i normally do just because it's out of the way easy to deal with Welcome to my little desk setup. I think I showed you it just before. So I've just got a coffee table that I'm sitting at at the minute. But yeah, I'm just in the process of writing my to-do list. I have this journal that I've been using for the past year, like on and off, because sometimes I forget to write in it and use it. But it's from Kiki K. It just looks like this. I saw it on um, Georgia Kate's Instagram and I was like, I need that. So yeah. I have started writing this journal. Well, it's not a journal. It's like um, a weekly set out. So I'll show you. I think I've shown before, honestly, because I talk about it in some of my weekly blogs. But it's just got like kind of habits on this side 
and then weekly with your water intake. I'm also thinking about possibly with my business doing something similar to this in the future. So potentially doing some journals or some diaries um, for future projects, but need some money to invest in that. So we'll start small. This is the end goal. So yeah, just starting to think of some ideas of things that I enjoy having and that I think other people might enjoy having. And I think a journal or a diary is really a good direction to go with that. So yeah, as you can tell, when I talk about something I'm excited about, I really, really get into it. So hopefully, not hopefully, it's going to happen. Positive mindset, positive mindset. Anyway, so just watching some Sophie Jane Miller's or maybe she just goes by Sophie Jane now. But I've been watching her YouTube because she's currently over in the in Europe, in the UK, and I've just been watching catching up on her videos and writing some to-do lists. So today we've got Charlie to the vet. I want to redo the outside area because after I showed you on Monday, we got a storm warning yesterday that we were going to get hail here in our area. So we moved everything out of the way so it didn't get any hail damage um, because there's no cover out there at all. But we didn't end up getting any rain or hail at all. So I want to move everything back. And I also got a little table and chairs to put it under the umbrella. So I'll show you that today. And then once I'm finished, you get to see it a bit more. And then obviously I said I want to get some business ideas down on paper. Um, I need to go pick up some parcels from my parents' house because I still get parcels delivered there because it's easier to find their house than mine, apparently, because I live in a complex and no one can ever find my house. Um, and then I want to take a photo for a brand. So that's the to-do list for today. And then I want to edit and post my weekly vlog tomorrow, but I might start editing later today. Uh, we'll add that onto the list. Very big list gal. Love lists. Um, but yeah, that's all we've got planned for today so far. Could change. But yeah, that's all we've got so far. Guess who gets to take his cone off? Are you excited? Ready? Pull, pull, pull. Good boy. Take this off. You're now a free man! You're a free man! Definitely need a bit of a brush from all that being on your neck. You're a free man! I think he wants it back. I don't think you want that back, doll. Stop it. You smell a little bit. You want it back on? Trying to put your head back in. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present, haven't been so happy ever. I just got back from my parents house and I picked up a couple of the things that I had there so I thought I'd give you a bit of a show and tell of what I ended up getting so first off my mum um, recently found this little lint shaver for me because I've been looking everywhere and could not find one except online but I've really been wanting it to like shave some of my clothes that have lint on it so yeah pretty excited about this I know it's super lame but anyway and the next purchase 
um, my sister got for me because she works in a bookstore. Um, and this is Defy the Dawn by Bridget Kemmerer. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Like I said recently, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. But this is the second book in the Defy the Night series. And I really enjoy the writing of this author. Um, she's She wrote one of my other favorite book series, which is the Curse Breaker series. And that's really good. And I also like some of her general fiction books as well that I've read. So I've read, let me look in the front. I've read More Than We Can Tell and Call It What You Want by her as well and really enjoyed it. And I'm in the middle of reading Forging Silver Into Stars. And I'm not loving it as much as the other ones, but I think I just need to give it a bit more of a chance. But yeah, would highly recommend any books by this author. Very much in love with them. And then next, I got a parcel delivered. Um, and it is the Esme Skin stuff. So I've got a few different things that I either wanted to try out or are my staples. So the first one that is a complete staple for me is the Mylic Cleanser Probiotic Skin Cleanser by Esme. And it is amazing. This is my favorite. I'm not sure if I'm even saying this brand right. I should probably listen to some other people pronounce it, see if I'm pronouncing it right. But this is my go-to um, because I have very sensitive skin. There is a lot of cleansers and stuff that just don't do well with my skin and it's taken me a long time to work out the products that actually work for me so this one i absolutely love um, but before i started using that one i did use their uncomplicated cleanser as well um, so this one is also an absolute staple i decided to get both because i was thinking this one i'll use in the morning and then this one i'll use at night so yeah very excited about that and then when i was on the website i noticed that they have also just released a hair care range and i have been looking for some new shampoo to try out because my hair is just very dry at the moment and just needs a bit of love so i got the hydrate shampoo and the dry hair conditioner so i thought i'd give these two a bit of a go as well i'm not sure if i'll end up using these every single time i wash my hair just because these are a bit more on the pricier side for something that you have to use all the time but if i do love it i will invest and use them all the time so yeah those are the products that i've got i'm thinking about doing a bit of a photo shoot with some of these um esme skin stuff as well just because i love them and <laughs> They're very good and I want to show them on my Instagram. Okay, I just sat outside for like an hour and finished To Hate Adam Connor. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It was super cute. Um, and yeah, now I have to choose what book I'm going to read next. So I did say earlier that I was going to read the second, this one. But I'm not sure if I'm feeling fantasy. But I feel like I haven't read any fantasy at all this year. So I have these three shelves here that are my TBR plus a couple up here behind that. So I'm thinking maybe I'll choose one from here or maybe I will just go with Defend the Dawn. Okay, good morning. So we're in my office and as you can see, it looks a little bit different behind me than it normally does. So last night I was sitting out in the little lounge room area with my partner that uh, he has with his Xbox and stuff and I was laying on the lounge and because he's currently using my desk I was like what would this lounge look like in my office? So then even though I had a piercing headache which I still kind of have in my temples I think it might be because I'm ovulating and that's also why my skin is breaking out so we're just letting it breathe today but anyway even though I had a piercing headache I was like I really want to know what this would look like in my office because that is just my personality type and I'm like get an idea and I must do it that second otherwise I'll think about it forever so I asked him to help me move it in here because I couldn't do it on my own walk in the door this is what you see so I've set up the little lounge so I can read there. I've got my laptop sitting up here with some plants and stuff and my trolley with um, my books and journals and a blanket. And then my bookshelf. So yeah. And then I also have this book sitting here. So 
yesterday I said that I was going to start the the other book. What was the other book called? Why do I not remember? Defend the Dawn. But I decided to start this one and set. So this one's Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. And I just started it. It's a pretty big one. Um, but yeah, I've heard great things about this. So hopefully it's good. And yeah, just started that one yesterday. So Charlie's just laying here next to me at the minute. Oh, we're itchy. But he's found his reflection in the TV. You look so big now, buddy. You look so big. I just hope he doesn't bark because it'll scare me. There it is. Hey, it's you. That's you. <laughs> yeah, you go investigate. Hey, Charlie, hop down. No. Okay, I've just spent most of the day editing a vlog, which is just sitting up here at the moment, exporting and ready to go tomorrow night at 5 p.m., which will be exciting. The internet is still not 100% at the moment. So I finished editing this about five minutes ago and I uploaded it and it is only at 1%. <laughs> so it might take a whole day before it is uploaded. Ah oh well. Um, and I've just come upstairs to have a bit of a rest and read my book. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's pretty good so far, but I'm only like... 33 pages in and it's a chunky book so hopefully it doesn't bore me before I get to the end Hey good morning it is Friday and I am currently on my way to see my cousin on the Sunshine Coast um, so I just dropped Charlie off at my parents house um, so that he can stay here for the day and be watched by my brother um, and I am off to the Sunshine Coast, so it says that it's going to take me an hour 45. So I've got some music lined up that I'm going to listen to and just hang out. I've also packed some stuff just in case we go to the beach, but I'm not sure if we're going to. So yeah, should be a good day. Wait, wait, wait. Good boy, go in. Sit, sit, high five. Good boy, another one. Good boy, drop. Good job, Malava. Whoa, good job. Sit. Good afternoon and happy Sunday. So this morning. Um, Shane and I went out for breakfast and just kind of spent the day together and now we're going on a little family walk 
So Charlie's a little bit excited and I've just got on this t-shirt from H&M and pants from Rockwear. Which one does it have the thing on the leg? This one. Yeah, so that's the fit. Charlie just got to get on his harness and stuff. You excited? You excited? <laughs> Cute. <laughs>